Hello everybody, TGL here, back with another Brawlhalla guide. I haven't done one of these in a while, I've kind of been slacking on them a bit. But, we got Greatsword. I've been labbing out Greatsword for a bit, uh, just because I think it's kind of a cool weapon. I want to learn it, I, I, I just, I struggled for a bit. But, since I learned it, I might as well tell you guys how to, how to use the weapon, so that you guys don't struggle as much as I do. So, uh, let's just get straight into it. Alright, first thing we're going to go over is approach options on Greatsword. And this weapon kind of struggles with that, I'm going to be honest. Uh, it has obviously like its side light, has its D light and stuff like that. But I think it's more of like a punish heavy weapon because you're going to want them to make the mistake and then punish them for it because it's just very slow. You get a lot out of that like one hit. You can get a whole like 70 damage combo off like one hit and a read. But getting that hit is going to be pretty hard. So obviously you got your basic ones. You got side light, you got D light. And then if they're in the air a little bit, you got the end light. Pretty simple. But if people start to counter that, like they just start floating in the air and it's hard to hit your moves, you can mix it up a little bit. I, I, a little bit? <laughs> you can mix it up a little bit. Uh, you can pull out some down airs, stuff like that. Uh, I also tried, I've tried using side, uh, side air a little bit. It's not too bad. Uh, it's definitely, if you're struggling to hit the other ones, it might be a good option for you. Even though it's a lot harder to hit into the combo, I'd say because, I don't know, it's just a weird angle of, like, a weird hitbox angle, I guess. But those are pretty much your only options for a <laughs> greatsword, which it has a decent amount of options, but I'd say the best strategy to approach is to not approach, let them approach you, and then punish them for making, like, a dumb mistake. All right, the next thing we're going to go over is basic combos that you should pretty much always know with greatsword. Uh, the first one is side light and delight side light. I, how did I mess that up? Side light, delight, side light. It won't hit. That's actually a good, uh, good, good example of sometimes it won't hit if you're too far away, just because I don't know. I guess it doesn't reach all the way. But okay, what is wrong with this bot? <laughs> but yeah, side light, delight, side light. You want to get decently close uh, with the first side light, just so that the entire combo will hit, like kind of like this. And then you can get a pretty low dodge window. I'm pretty sure it's the lowest dodge window like amount out of all of Great Sword's moves. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is out of all of its like three hit combos i'm pretty sure that has the lowest amount of uh dodge window but i might be wrong i don't know what's going on with this bot right now it is freaking out uh, another one i like is weirdly side light and light d light which you might be like what that's a weird combo it has a lot of dodge frames why are you doing that it's because of this if you hit a side light okay <laughs> if you hit a side light and light d light on ledge it can send at like a really good angle like wait let me okay <laughs> it won't get in the right position this dumb bot but you know what, let's, let's just uh, do this real quick. There we go. Let's just push him over here. Okay. <laughs> let's let's knock you over here. Come on. Thank you. Uh, let's give me a great sword real quick. All right, so side light and light D light hits at an insane angle. So if you can pull that off on ledge, it's ridiculous. It's not the best combo. And it's a lot, it's, ve it's a very risky combo, but it's very good if you hit it. Uh, another thing that's a good combo to go over is your D-Light combo, or not D-Light, down air combos, because that's a pretty good way to approach, if I'm being honest. It's just a solid, solid little approach option there. Let's just put this reset on real quick. I don't know. <laughs> Basically, any combos work with Greatsword. There are obviously ones that are better than others in certain situations. I think the best, just all-rounder, side light, D-Light, side light. Uh, but in general, it's basically, this weapon's up to like personal preference. Just whatever combos you like doing, those are the ones you should be doing because you know like how they work. And that, that that's just the best way to play the weapon if I'm being honest. Alright, next thing I'm going to go over with Greatsword is killing. Because killing on Greatsword can be a little rough sometimes. Because you need to hit like the big old strings to actually hit the kill move. Which you can actually avoid by just gravity canceling it like that. And just get one big kill move without like all the build up to it. Which I think is my personal way or personal favorite way to kill with Greatsword is just to throw out a little big move and then just kind of work off that because he, he, it's, it's, you don't want to do a big combo to kill every single time. That's just not going to work. You can't get a read perfect every single time. So the best thing to do is just to use that big old gravity cancel right there or just to gimp off stage. But I think the best way to do it is to get that nice little side light uh, gravity cancel or maybe end light. Who knows? But if you don't want, like, if you don't quite like that method, the, I'd say side air is very solid off stage. 
Uh, ground Pound is actually a pretty good move. It has a huge area for like no reason. Recovery is strong just because, I don't know, it, it just kind of is, I guess. Like if you hit that, boom, okay. That's a bad example, but you can just kind of recovery and then just hit some stuff out of that because recovery is a really good jung uh, jungle the juggle move for basically no reason. It's just it's just really solid. All right, next thing we're going to go over is reeds with Greatsword. Usually I don't cover reeds in these basic guides just because, well, it's a basic guide, but with Greatsword it's different because you kind of need to know them to get, like, obviously your big strings. Like with dodging up, it's very hard to punish dodging up with Greatsword just because, well, you're dodging up and basically all of your moves go up or don't go up. I don't know why I said that, but yeah, basically what you're going to want to do is you can't really hit a combo out of it, but you can hit like a gravity cancel uh, and light, which is what I like to do. Either that or maybe a recovery and then just hit some stuff out of that. It's it's a rough dodge to cover, I'm going to be honest, especially on grid sword, but you kind of just got to deal with it. You won't get as much out of it. And if people dodge up, you're going to struggle a bit, but yeah, you can get some decent stuff out of it at least. Uh, dodging right is way more manageable. I love people who dodge right because you can just get combos out of it for free. Uh, just hit some of your classic combos. If you really want, you can just kind of get like a bigger combo out of it. Like dodge behind him like that and then hit some stuff like that. Okay, I almost SD'd right there. That was terrifying. But if they're dodging in like that, then you can just get some quality stuff on them real quick. Like literally all you got to do, just side light, dodge back, boom, bam, bop. Easy combo. Uh, you can obviously get more out of it if you really want to. I'm not quite good enough to, to be able to do that, uh, but it's it's pretty solid. You can just keep going for reads over and over again, especially if people just keep following for it. You can just kind of pull stuff like that. Once again, I'm not the best great sword player, but I have learned some tricks. So next thing we're going to go over is down dodge. You love down dodges because you can just hit all your stuff out of it. It's, it's glorious. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, another thing is, okay, I'm going the wrong way, left dodges, which is just the same as right dodges, just inverse, pretty much, doesn't really matter. Upright is pretty easy, actually. Upright, you can just ca catch with a nice little chase dodge neutral light, like that. Pretty good and pretty nasty. Uh, downright, ooh, that might be a tough one. Actually, no, it's not, never mind. It's basically the same as just down. You just kind of got to fall in for it. And that was the, that was the D light I was telling you about earlier. That uh, end light into D light, it hits a nasty angle. So yeah, you can do that. Uh, you can hit that little D light off of that read if you really want to. Okay, I messed it up. Ah. <laughs> Let me hit it, please, game. There we go. Yeah, it just sends at such a good angle. I love D, uh, heavy D light out of end light. So good. Uh, down left, same as down right. Up left, you just kind of do the opposite of, <laughs> of uh, upright pretty simple and that, that's all the dodge reads it's i would say you need to focus on those the most all your dodge reads because greatsword needs them like really bad so if you're struggling to kill with greatsword remember you need to read it's very important building up damage you need to read kills you need to read it's basically like the main part of this entire weapon all right the last thing we're going to go over with greatsword is off stage because off stage oh it is rough uh, you can even get some cheesy stuff. You can spam your little down airs and stuff like that, which actually works pretty well. I'm gonna be honest. If you just like spamming down or off stage, this is the perfect weapon for you. It's so good. And you can camp ledge with D light, or not D light, down air into nair. Such a good combo for basically no reason. It hits for free almost all the time, even though it really shouldn't. It's just so good for no reason. It, like it has seven dodge windows, but no one ever dodges it. That's the thing. Uh, it's, it's just ridiculous. Obviously, you got the ground pound. It's just a solid move. Don't know why. It just has a dumb hitbox. Like, I can just keep doing this over and over again. I win. It, it's dumb. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you can do that nice little uh, end light into D light that I've been showing you. It's amazing. I love it. That's how you get people off stage mainly. But to keep it off stage, I'd say down airs and then just kind of keep hitting down airs and side airs and you're basically chilling i try to avoid off stage with great sword you can pull it off don't get me wrong but i think your best bet is to stay grounded as much as possible but if you're in a, if you're struggling to get back or you're just kind of forced off stage and just end light and or not end light and nair a bit just to like scare them off and then just recover back up it's not too bad 
But yeah, I guess that's gonna be pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. What weapon should I do next? Comment down below. And after I finish all of these basic guides, I'm gonna do advanced guides. So if you want to see that, subscribe and all that good stuff. Peace out.